everyone, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Che Dorena. So when you're out in the Twitterverse, you're probably spending your time looking at some of the best one-liner jokes written by some of the best comedians, or checking out the strange thoughts that come out of people's heads that they feel like they need to throw out into the universe, or my personal favorite, memes. But the last thing I bet you thought you were going to find across here was the answer to some unsolved mysteries. Well, that is exactly what today's list is about. We're looking into the unknown that was made known by the little blue bird on today's list of top 10 mysteries solved by Twitter. As always, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Also, make sure you stick around for the whole video because at the end I want you guys to hit up the comment section and let me know what you guys thought about this video. And also, if you guys have any unsolved mysteries that got solved through Twitter. If this video is good enough, we might be able to use them for future videos. And if you're dying for more Most Amazing Top 10 content, go check out Facebook and Instagram. Our pages over there have a ton of more stuff for you guys to check out, and it's a great way to get to know my myself and the other hosts a little bit better. And without taking any longer, let's get into this list. At number 10, we have homophobes locked up. And back in 2014, there was a brutal hate crime in Philadelphia where two gay men were attacked by three people in Center City. Now the police put out a big search to try and find out who did this, but they couldn't find out who it was. There was no clues anywhere. So they released some security footage to the public to see if it would bring up any leads. And a Twitter user by the name fansince09 decided to take the footage and share it, asking if anyone out there had information. Eventually, a link to photographs of them at a nearby restaurant was leaked. He then used those photographs on Facebook to find their accounts, and before you know it, the police were at their door, and the three people who had attacked these men were behind bars. This is all because of the internet. Also, don't go around beating people up. You're a terrible person if you do that. And I'm happy that the police managed to catch up with these people. At number nine, we have stolen laptop. When you're traveling, you gotta watch yourself. Like, there are thieves everywhere, and they can smell a tourist from a mile away. They're just waiting to steal your stuff. One of my buddies got robbed in Eastern Europe by knife point, and now he still has PTSD. But this isn't a list of Che's top 10 friends with PTSD. So what happened? It was a Canadian tourist who was traveling through New York, and he got his stuff stolen. I mean like everything, like his laptop, his phone, his birth certificates. Like this guy got taken for a ride. He lost everything, and then he would have been stuck in America. But he used a tracking app called Prey to find his laptop, and figure out which person had actually taken his stuff. He then used the app to turn on the camera on the laptop to see who had taken it and where they had taken it to. He then went on Twitter to do a call out to all of New York to tell them where this guy was. So a bunch of people decided to close in on the thief like a cult of Batman followers. Good job, guys. At number eight, we have missing camera. So you leave your extremely expensive camera in a dude's bathroom. Chances are you're never gonna see this thing again. That thing would be pawned off faster than Taco Bell passes through your system and ends up on the side of a toilet bowl. Well, Anthony Posey got super lucky because when he left his camera in a public bathroom, a super kind person found it and then turned it into the police. The police then posted a photo that was on the camera onto Twitter and then it got shared. Some people saw the photo and recognized it from one of Anthony's Facebook posts. Thank contact him, letting him know the police had his camera. This is honestly one of the craziest stories ever. You literally need a series of good people doing good things for this all to come together. No one along the way tried to steal the camera. This is the most lawful good story I think I've ever heard. At number seven, we have Cat Kicker. I know you all out there remember Vine. It was a beautiful place for all of us with short attention spans. The ability for people to pack jokes into little bite-sized pieces and then send them across the world. It was amazing. May Vine forever rest in peace. But not all the content was great, especially this video from Walter Easley, where he decides to kick a cat. I don't know if you guys remember this, but Walter uploaded a video onto Vine of him kicking a poor little kitty. People were outraged and wanted to know who he was and have him charged, but he took the video down so no one could find him. But the internet had already taken the video and uploaded it to Facebook and Twitter and Reddit as well. And the manhunt was on its way. Eventually his address got released, he started getting death threats, and then the police came, arrested him and charged him with animal cruelty. At number six, we have football players have sex with an unconscious girl. So a couple of terrible dudes in Steubenville thought that it would be a great idea to get a girl so drunk that she passed out and then have sex with her. That's rape. And then these guys were so arrogant that they took pictures of themselves committing this horrible crime and then uploaded these pictures onto Instagram and Twitter. I guess they only did this to further humiliate the girl. This then leads to everyone wondering who this girl was and who was uploading these pictures. The players eventually smartened up and then took the pictures down, but everyone was in a spin trying to figure out who were these people. But luckily, a blogger had taken screenshots of everything. And with a little help from the internet through Twitter, she was able to find out who these guys were. And 
and then the police got hot on their trail. When justice finally caught up with them, the two football players were charged with being delinquents beyond reasonable doubt, which will go on their permanent record. And once they got to prison, I'm sure they got the worst of it. At number 5 we have the Grateful Doe. If you die and you don't have any ID on you, it can be super hard to identify your body, especially if your face gets mangled in a car crash. And in 1995, this is exactly what happened. The police found a dead body after a car accident and all they had to go on was a Grateful Dead concert ticket. It wasn't until years later when they used facial reconstructive technology to make an image of what his face probably looked at and then the picture got sent through Facebook and Twitter and it wasn't long after that until his family identified him. They sent a DNA sample to confirm that it was him and sure enough this was their guy. The family said that they thought he had run away to start his own life. At number 4 we have Missing Kid. Alright the next one on the list we have a girl who went missing the day after Christmas. How are you going to run away the day after Christmas? That's when you're supposed to wake up, enjoy all your presents and have an extra day of eating all the leftovers you could imagine, eating so many leftovers you can't leave the horizontal position. But the father of Haley Wilson didn't wake up to endless food and an Xbox 360. He woke up to a note from his daughter saying that she was running away and that her dad shouldn't come looking for her. It was a pretty nice note. It said that she loved Loved her dad, but that there was nothing for her in this town. She needed to move on. I mean, I get what she feels like being in the suburbs, being bored. It makes you want to break out and go and chase your dreams, but don't break your old man's heart in the process. My God. Tell him you want to move somewhere with more opportunity and then let the wheels set in motion on their own. Well, her dad took to Twitter and uploaded a YouTube video detailing everything that happened. He put everything on these little cue cards. He showed the day she went missing, what she was driving, the note she left, a map that was found in her room, what she could be wearing, and this was all played out with some sad music playing in the background and her dad crying. Honestly, it's a super sad video. This hits like the opening of Pixar's Up, but because it was so moving, the video got retweeted like crazy and it only took a week before the girl was found. I don't know what happened in the loving reunion, but I'm sure you guys out there could figure that out for yourselves. At number 3 we have Shia LaBeouf's flag. After the 2016 election, a lot of people were pissed off, one of them being Shia LaBeouf. He wanted to express his anger by putting up an art installation with the words, he will not divide us. He tweeted out the location of it because it had a live stream camera. This is where people could voice their thoughts about what they thought about the election. Well, some people from 4chan kept messing with it. So Shia LaBeouf moved the message to a flag that was just waving in the sky. And all you could see was the flag and the blue sky. He was basically like, you guys can't know where the flag is, so you can't mess with the flag. It was kind of a challenge to the people out in 4chan, and they were like, challenge accepted. Everyone at 4chan started calculating wind patterns, jet streams, constellations, and wildlife noises, and they ended up finding the flag in less than 24 hours. This one was way more 4chan than Twitter, but I still wanted to include it because it's a crazy story of people coming together just to piss someone off. At number two, we have curing diseases. One of the biggest mysteries in the world is how we're going to stop disease. Well, Twitter helped with that too. There was a simplistic video game that was released that showed people how to fold molecules. This information can be used to make cures for diseases. Well, this free game was shared on Twitter and it really blew up. Hundreds of thousands of people started playing this game and there have been over 300 designs created to help fight disease and like not little things, things as serious as tuberculosis. Gamers and social media coming together in a way that's not toxic? That's the biggest mystery here that we have to solve. And number one on our list is Kara Lee Ashby. Now we got a cold case that took over four decades to solve. In 1986, a drunk driver struck and killed a four year old girl by the name of Kara Lee Ashby. And even though the police were looking for the killer tirelessly, they could not figure it out. It wasn't until Russ Johnson retired from being a police officer and then posted on Facebook that the one thing he always regretted was never finding her killer. It then got shared all over Facebook and all over Twitter and it eventually worked its way back to a woman in Florida. She said she knew the person who was in the passenger seat when this girl was killed and that the driver was Douglas Parkhurst. Parkhurst was later questioned by the police and admitted to the crime, but because this was past the statute of limitations, he could not be convicted. Well everyone, that is our list. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in and sticking around all the way to the end. Remember, if you've heard of any unsolved mysteries or mysteries that were solved through Twitter, make sure you throw them in the comment section. I want to check all this stuff out. And on top of that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe.
subscribe and the little notification bell. You guys know what to do. If you're dying for more most amazing top 10 content, you have got to go check us out on Instagram and Facebook. There's more content over there and you can get to know each one of the individual hosts a little bit better. Until next time, I've been Shade Arena and I got a great idea for a tweet. It's got to come out. <laughs> <laughs>